Good morning everyone. I thought I'd do a vlog today and as always I've got to include my sweet little hummingbirds. Not a lot going on. We're gonna wash windows which on a house like this is a lot of work but I'm sure it will be fun as well. And I think we're going out for dinner tonight so that's about it. So today is window washing day and Mark's doing the outside and I'm doing the inside and we will see how they come out. He's doing an amazing job on the bottom. It's a lot harder on the top because you can't get the leverage on the squeegee. Last year I was up on the top rung of a really tall ladder. So I'm happy to let him do it. I'm only cleaning the bottom rungs or the bottom windows. I'm not cleaning on the inside those big ones. It's gonna take us a few hours. We have a lot of windows in here. <laughs> It's funny because the quote we got was outrageous. And I said to him, maybe by the end of this we'll be thinking they're underpaid. <laughs> That's how it usually works. He's doing a great job. Not that I'm surprised at that. So I've washed all my lower windows on this floor. So I'm going to go do some other ones. So glad we're saving the money. We'll see what Mark says. He's got the harder part of the job. So I don't know if you've ever seen these and don't mind the water on the windows as Mark's still washing. These bumblebee snack on the run is a tuna and there's a chicken and it's actually really delicious. It comes with six crackers and a little spoon and the tuna is not dry tuna. It's actually made into a salad and it is really good. They're like I don't know, a dollar something for the six crackers. And then they also have a three pack for the tuna and the chicken. They're really delicious. If you're interested, the Sprayway glass cleaner is amazing. And just a microfiber cloth. That's all I'm using inside. It's actually going quicker than we thought. Easy for me to say when Mark's on the outside. But he's probably almost halfway done and it's been an hour. So these people were charging a few hundred dollars. <laughs> it's crazy. So he's out there in the fresh air and not that hard. Like I said, easy for me to say. So he hoses it all down. He has some soap in a bucket that he has an extend a pole with a squeegee on it and cleans the windows with that and then hoses it down again and then squeegees it all. Down below he's using just a handheld squeegee but up top we have the extender pole because I don't want him on a super tall ladder. He has that little one out there and that's tall enough. He doesn't seem to understand we're getting older. He says maybe I am but he's not. <laughs> So Mark bought me some rose bushes for our anniversary back in March. I don't remember if I shared this with you. They are starting to have some leaves. Unfortunately, the javelinas came along and stripped them all completely. So we are hoping that some of it's alive. You can see where that one is not. It was green on the bottom and the rest it looks dead. So hopefully it'll come back. And then there's this one which also got completely stripped. And then I'll show you two more. So there's this one, which is gonna be real pretty. It's pink hybrid. And then finally there's this one, which I'm really, I love those colors. Uh, the orange and um, yellow and orange, I guess. And it's looking really healthy. And it's got some buds on here, which makes me happy. So I don't know much about roses, so if anybody has any tips or tricks, please let me know. We spend a huge amount of our time outside, so I am about to take water from the rain barrels and fill up my watering can, and I'll put some miracle Grow in it, and then we will water some of the trees and things that need an extra boost now that we are getting heat. So it's nice to have this rain barrel water and we also have several strategic um, gutters 
where it flows down and if we have it open we can put rain barrels like this or watering cans underneath it and when we come back if it's been raining it's filled up so um, the plants thrive so much better when they have the rainwater. This aspen is in the sun so it always fills in faster than this aspen over here that's more in the shade so it's a little behind it's still doing really well though. So honey do you think this was worth it or are they uh, were they overcharging or undercharging? Depends on if you think what I'm doing right now is worth $200 an hour. <laughs> are you but, serious? But I've been goofing around so this is like a $200 an hour job for somebody that wants a great job. Wow. So you could quit your day job. Way more than my day job. <laughs> So I don't know if you remember this cactus last year. It had so many gorgeous blooms. I think it was in yellow. And look at them. It's going to be exploding any time now. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to show you some more cactus that Mark has put everywhere out in the yard so we can see it from various windows. So this tree, when we moved in, it was to here. Last winter or spring it grew to there. And then now it's up to here so it's amazing how fast that grows this is one of the cacti that mark has put in here he's strategically placing them all over the property and then obviously when they bloom we will have beautiful flowers to look at and that little guy there got a couple little things on it. That one is loaded and <laughs> covered. And that one is not blooming at all. I'm not sure why. It may not get enough sun where it's at. It's funny, different varieties grow purple. And then there's this one and all of these out here, which is very cool. We try to leave the terrain natural. Ooh, here's one that's starting. I think that might be opening. Hang on a minute, let me find you guys. I think that one might be starting to open and bloom. How cool. We try to leave the terrain here natural as much as possible. Um, he definitely has been putting in trees so like this one here is a maple but as much as he spends all day out here it's low maintenance we do have some trails so he's done trails throughout the property on purpose we call this the critter trail but he actually did it so that he can bring the golf cart up here and carry you know plants and things on the back and he putzes around the whole yard <laughs> with all these little trails he's made. And here's another trail that goes up into the back of the property. Here's another trail. And he actually created this for me. What a sweetheart. So I could film out here. Well, I've never filmed out here. It's just much easier to film in the house. So we're now thinking, and when I say we, I mean me, of making this into a garden and he would have to put fencing up to protect it from the javelina. We'd have to get irrigation done so that it could be, you know, automatically watered. And I would love it, because then I wouldn't have to do all my pots on the balcony, but we'd also have to be able to not only keep the javelina out, but the squirrels and the rabbits and everything else. So if anybody has any suggestions of how to do that with low labor costs and time, that would be fantastic. And I don't know if you remember all the wood piles that we had, but we've depleted a lot of it. We're going to keep this, we call this the storage area to hide his little um, trailer here that he, he takes around and hooks it onto the golf cart and when he needs to. But we'll leave that little bit of wood there. And then we've got this wood here. So it'll probably be a while till we need to get a new cord of wood uh, delivered here. 
and here's another little maple tree that he's put in and this pine tree back there which I think that one's really cute so he's doing a lot to spruce up the yard and I'll show you some of the flowers and things that he's done he does such amazing work all of this is vinca major and vinca minor some of them last better than others and they bloom beautiful I love all that purple and it's weird to have the mix of the desert with up north here of the pine trees and the different things. I'll show you some more of the garden in a minute. Oh, here's this. So this is pyracantha and it comes out with red berries. It's nice in controlled things. Some people down in the valley use it all around the perimeter of their yard and it ends up being more of a weed in my opinion. But in controlled situations, I think it's pretty and, you know, a nice little accent. And we lost part of this tree in one of our storms in the winter and Mark had to come out and take it down. We actually had a lot of limbs that came down and had to clean all that up. And I'm hoping that that regrows. It's so sad, but it's also part of nature. This is a weather vane and a fountain that we have here. And then we have, this is the pyracantha again. It's in the sun so it looks different. And these I had in Vancouver, Canada. So it's kind of cool that we have some similar things here. And we have rosemary blooming here, which I should cut back, but that's okay. Um, cactus all in bloom and up here and then he put this insanely heavy pot I don't even want to know how he got it here and he's got these flowers here some agaves in the back which are really pretty then he's got all of this around it so he, like I said he does such beautiful work and then he's put in this tree in there and just so many wonderful touches he has all throughout the property. I joke that this is his free gym membership because he'd be sitting by at home the, behind the computer if we were down in the valley. Out here he's always working. There's the hummingbirds. We have so many levels to this house because it's built into the mountains. So not all of it's as easy to clean. What, hun? Oh. So I think this is the last one that he's going to do today. We have one more in my girl cave, one more window, but it has full sun on it. So he's just hosing down his patio here, and then we will probably break for lunch, although I'm not hungry after having that tuna. That was really good, but it kind of hit the spot and I don't know if I need much more. We'll see. So we're taking a lunch break. You just have a couple spots and one window. So what's the verdict? Overpaid or underpaid window cleaners? I think they're making some serious dough. <laughs> I think they're making over 115 hours. Wow, I think I need to quit my day job. Okay. So this is full house here. And it's really weird. We have Anna's, Rufus, and then for the first time we have, are they called Broadtail? Yeah, Broadtail. And they, the Broadtail make a lot of noise when they're flying. And then when their wings stop, they seem to stop the noise. Sounds just like a whistle. Mark says it sounds like a whistle. I think it sounds like crickets. Sounds like one of those little kids whistles with the ball inside. <laughs> I just love it up here. I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day and say hello to everybody here. I just have on a really simple white shirt. You could if you wanted you know, pull it up and tuck it in a little bit, whatever. 
It is longer in the back, so it covers the butt, which is always nice. And just some white pants, as always, I'm barefoot. <laughs> and I'll probably just throw on flip-flops and a jean jacket for dinner. We're going out to Mexican food, which is one of Mark's favorites. We're going to do a grocery pickup. We take a refrigerated bag with us and then we'll head for dinner and then come back. It's getting borderline. It's probably, I don't know, 80 degrees here. So you don't want it to be in the car too long, the groceries, but I don't have anything frozen. So hopefully any refrigerated things will be fine in the bag. And in future, we might have to do it early and just go pick it up, bring it back and unload it and then go for dinner. And I guarantee you, Mark, I want to go to a place that's closer to us here and then do Mexican a second night. The reason I don't like to go out for dinner so many times in a weekend is I want to keep my girlish figure. Um, I actually am pretty happy with how I'm looking. I'm going to do a video with Kathy's Beauty Care Chats talking about our kitchen empties and I'll talk a little bit more in there, but I am putting gluten, carbs back in my diet and this is intentional and it's amazing how much better I feel. I have more clarity in my brain, I have more energy, and my weight is not suffering at all. But I don't think going out for dinner twice is a good thing. Mark would go out every night if I let him. <laughs> so we always have a puzzle on the go, and we just finished this one, which was, believe it or not, fairly easy and a lot of fun to do. And I've said to Mark we should do this one next. And he does not agree with me. <laughs> he thinks it's going to be too hard, which it might. But this was fun.